Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the English version of World Wild Foodies. Today, we are going to make a tofu dish called Home Style Tofu. Okay, let's start. First of all, let's prepare some dried mushrooms. I have one third cup of black wood air. Some people call it black fungus.、Uh, anyway, and one third cup of shiitake mushrooms. They are all dried, so we need to add water to soak them up. If you soak them into the cold water, at least you need one hour. And if you soak them into warm water, half hour is enough. Okay, now let me introduce other ingredients of this dish. So you need extra firm tofu and some pepper, green pepper and red pepper, couple slices of ginger roots, and a couple cloves of garlic. These are the leaves of the garlic, or you can use green onion too instead. Okay, here we have our mushrooms. This is pi xian dou ban jiang. It's a bean paste mixed with the chili pepper. So make like a sauce. You can see it's black or dark brown. I think you can find this canned dou ban jiang at your local Asian market. It's a Taiwanese version. Now let's prepare the tofu. First cut, we cut along the diagonal line, so you can see we made two triangles. Then let's slide them into thin pieces, as thick as the pencil. Now we have many smaller triangle tofu pieces. Let's fry them. Okay, prepare a nonstick pan on the medium heat, and add oil until cover the bottom of the pan. Then arrange your tofu pieces into the pan one by one until they cover all the bottom of the pan. Then keep frying. The medium heat. We need them all golden brown. Now we can prepare other ingredients when we fry in the tofu. We need to cut the red pepper and the green pepper. So remove the seeds in the middle. Then we have only the outside, and cut them into triangles like the tofu size. Don't waste the two ends. You still can use them. Never waste your food ingredients. My green pepper is a little different because it's Anaheim. It's a long shape green pepper. So I cut them into half first, then peel off the seeds. Then I cut them into triangles as well as the red pepper. Now let's take a look of the tofu. We can flip them up now to fry the other side. So you can see one side is turned golden brown. Maybe some pieces are a little lighter. Ah,、uh, it's okay. We just turn them upside down. Look, they are so beautiful. I like this golden color. Now we can keep preparing our other fresh spices. So cut the green garlic or green onions into short stems, and slide the garlic cloves. Oops, the music is from my rice cooker. Never mind. Then we need to chop the ginger into small cubes.
finally let's chop them up into very very fine maybe cubes well just chop them chop chop then put them on side good everything is almost ready and the tofu is turning golden brown it's crispy outside and the soft inside mm, yummy so let's take out all the tofu pieces and prepare for the stir fry okay we still use the fry pan we don't have to wash it then add about two tablespoon of vegetable oil or cooking oil and turn it up to high heat Add the minced ginger and the garlic first. Saute for a little while, maybe 30 seconds, or until you can smell it. Then add the dou ban jiang, the bean paste, and uh, keep stir frying. Now let's add the vegetables and the mushrooms, except the tofu. Then we stir fry these veggies for a little while. Uh, usually I will cook for two minutes. Keep stir frying until everything mix up. Then we add our tofu inside. Don't add too early because the tofu was cooked. Then mix them well again. Now let's add about one teaspoon of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. You may need to adjust how much salt you need to add because the bean paste is already salty. Finally, let's add our starch water. I mixed about half cup of water with two tablespoons of corn starch. The starch water will help to reduce the salty of this dish and also can make the dish looks beautiful. Don't forget to add your garlic leaves or green onions. Then you can turn off the heat. We keep stirring until the leaves are turning soft. Now it's time for plating. This is a healthy vegan dish and of course it's also delicious. And you can get most of the proteins from tofu and the mushrooms and vitamins from the vegetables. If you don't like spicy or you can't eat spicy, just buy the non-spicy bean paste. I recommend to use soybean paste maybe. Okay, it's done. Thank you for watching and you are always welcome to subscribe my YouTube channel. And for more text recipes, please visit my website. I will see you next time.